Stand by now for the latest <laughs> pet and animal news with Kay Brown. A TV news crew in Thailand has discovered a rare creature in the Bang Rakam region, uh, which has everyone freaking out. The animal looks like a tiny tiger, but barks like a dog. Ooh, now, the... Ooh, <laughs> ooh. A I'm not sure if, it, if that's the actual bark. Okay. I was going to say, if it looks like a dog, it is a dog, right? Well, it looks like a tiger as well. It's got these okay. stripes in the fur. Now, the owner says that everyone keeps asking her, have you painted them on? Apparently, uh, in Mexico, they paint horses with stripes and have pretend zebras to give tourists um, right. zebra rides. Clearly nothing else to do in, in Mexico. But yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. But no, this is the genuine thing. I've seen the photos, and what I'd like people to do is check out the photos. We'll put them on our site, and we'd like you to have a look and tell us if you think it is a dog or a tiger. Um, Everyone likes firefighters, right? Mm -hmm. Well, certainly all the ladies do. (laughs) There's one fireman in Brazil who right now is the most loved and appreciated one around the world. After video of him carrying out a rescue went viral. Now, the village of Bento Rodriguez was hit by a huge mudslide and sadly four people died. So there wasn't much hope for the animals and pets in the town until the fireman spotted the dog stuck in mud up to her belly. Without hesitation, the unnamed hero struggled through the sludge and managed to pull the dog free and carried her to safety. Uh, I saw that. Very cute, very cute. The dog. Yep. Yep, Very and um, the only thing that is concerning is it looks from the, the pictures that the, the dog might have had puppies in the, in the not-too-distant future, ooh, and we ooh. don't know if, if they're they okay. Yeah, yeah oh, it's a bit of a worry. Yeah. Speaking of viral videos, we couldn't resist telling you about a skateboarding bulldog called Otto, who has broken the mm-hmm. world record for skateboarding through a tunnel of human legs. Um, 30 people lined up to help Otto create the world record, and um, we'll put this video up as well, and you can judge for yourself, but by the look of the smile on his face, Otto thought it was pretty darn cool too. I actually went and um, searched YouTube for the skateboarding dog Guinness, you know, world record, whatever. <laughs> Came up with so many different versions. Ooh. I mean, there's the there's the media versions, but some people in a hotel were actually filming it as well like, on their phones <laughs> from way up high. So you could actually cut together this amazing video. But it is very cute and it very is. clever as well. Whoever trained Otto, very clever. Lots of bulldogs actually like skateboarding. Mm-hmm. There's another one called Tillman as well. Okay. I've seen from Britain. Mm-hmm. The news today isn't all about dogs. You might have noticed there's been a flurry of furry cat cafes opening up in capital cities here and overseas. Well, a Bristol pub in merry old England has gone one step further, describing itself as the perfect place to unwind with a pint of beer <laughs> as long as you like cats. That's because the Bag of Nails in Bristol has not just one or two cats – They've got 15 fabulous felines who love to hang out on the bar being petted by the pup patrons. The landlord, Luke Daniels, started off with just two cats and, uh, well, you know what happened. (laughs) Uh, They just kept on coming, so... They've now been to visit the vet, and there won't be any more arriving any time soon. I can just see people thinking, look, there's cat cafes, you know, we can go and have a coffee and whatever and pat, and now there's a cat pub. <laughs> pub, coffee, pub, coffee. Mm, gee, mm, hard decision. Hard decision. You see the <laughs> photos of all these lovely cats, you know, just laying yeah. on people's laps, being petted. Oh, good on them. Good it's on great. Them. Very calming. We all know how that's stress a, relieving it is to have a, a cat. Story. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our news wrap-up for this week. Thank you, KB. Well, that's all we have for you for this week for Vet Talk. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget we are in the iTunes store, or you can just go to vettalkradio.com.au and play any of our podcasts there. Uh, we've got an archive section, but uh, better still, if you actually register with us, it's absolutely free as a pet owner or a vet professional, you'll get updated on uh, the latest and greatest stuff that we're doing. And we won't scam anyone. Absolutely. Or is that spam? I'm spam. I'm and spam. confused with those. <laughs> okay, until next week, I'm Brian Pickering. And I'm Kay Brown. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Take care.